Hey everybody, Technically Jeff here, and today I'm gonna to walk you guys through the process of updating the software for the Carlink at T-Box Plus. If you don't know what that is, go check out that review video I did. Essentially, it lets you watch videos on your car's display and run a variety of different apps. It essentially turns your car's infotainment system into a tablet, and it works really well. I highly recommend it, and it's actually pretty inexpensive. Uh, but like I said, go check out that video. Uh, but today I'm gonna to walk you guys through the process of updating the firmware for the Carlink at T-Box Plus. If you're like me, you got it probably before the Android 13 version was available, but the good news is we can actually update ours to Android 13. So like I said, I'm gonna walk you guys through that process. So let's get to it. Now Carlinkit has a support site I'll link in the description for you guys, but here we can download the software to a micro SD card to install on the T-Box Plus. The updates for Android 12 and Android 13 are here. If you're on the 2023-0630 firmware, you can go straight to installing Android 13. If you are on an earlier version though, like me, you'll need to install the Android 12 firmware first, then the Android 13 version. And there are different methods to update the firmware for Android 12 and Android 13, so I'll be going over both of those in this video for you guys. As a quick overview for the Android 12 update, you'll download the update zip file and then rename the file to update and put it in the root of your micro SD card. Make sure not to unzip the file. You'll then put the micro SD card in the T-Box Plus and it should automatically recognize the update. For the Android 13 version, you'll download the zip file and save it in the root of the micro SD card again. This time you won't need to rename the file. Then you'll go to the FOTA update option on the T-Box Plus, go to setting, local upgrade, USB disk, and then tap the T-Box Plus update file, and it should just install the update that way. So let's start with the Android 12 update. I've saved it to my micro SD card and put it in the T-Box Plus, and it says it's found the file, so I'll tap yes and start the update. The files are then copied, and the upgrade starts. Once that's done, the system will restart, If the micro SD card is still installed, it will give you the prompt again. Here you can just tap no. And then looking at the software version here, you can see it's the June 30th, 2023 version. So the update was successful. And you'll notice we now have the FOTA update option at the top. This is where the over the air updates are completed and where we'll do the Android 13 update. I don't think the over-the-air updates work for full Android versions. Yeah, it's not there. So we'll go to setting and then local update. Let me go download the Android 13 version real quick though. All right, it is downloaded and the micro SD card is inserted in the T-Box Plus. I'll go back to FOTA update. And then I'll tap local update. Here you'll remember we go to USB disk. And then at the bottom we see the T-Box Plus firmware. So I'll tap that. And then I'll tap OK to perform the update. Then it will go through the installation. And once it's done, we'll tap OK to restart. Then it will come up and it loads all the apps. It is a new launcher style here. I'll tap Nova 7 and see if it loads my old setup. And it does. And I'll pull up the settings.
Looking at the software version, it is updated. And the system shows that it is Android 13. So that's it. I'll test it out and see if I notice any big changes or issues and I'll let you guys know. And I'll also be doing some tips for the T-Box Plus, so be sure to subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions though on this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.